Nutrition is getting optimal foods and nutrients for growth and healing. Malnutrition can be both a state of undernutrition and overnutrition. So someone not getting enough nutrients for growth or someone getting too many calories. The causes of malnutrition generally are not getting sufficient food, usually because of poverty or socioeconomic status. There can be some conditions and diseases that cause malnutrition as well. For instance, if someone had a GI issue, they may have malabsorption, which means their body isn't going to absorb the nutrients even though they're eating the nutrients. Usually malnutrition is recognized by doing a physical examination by the doctor. The dietitian would also be involved in that by taking weight and height measurements and using those with growth charts to see if a child or an adult is growing and gaining weight adequately. Lab values will also give us an indication of malnutrition. For instance, is someone's iron status adequate? Is their potassium adequate or their calcium? If we're not eating right, we can have a higher risk of heart disease. If we don't control our diet, our blood sugar levels are more likely to be out of control and we're more likely to get insulin resistance, therefore putting us more at risk of diabetes. Insufficient nutrition leads to or is a contributing factor to diabetes and heart disease and both those conditions put a huge strain on the economy and on the healthcare system. Supplements can be important and useful for specific individuals if they have a diagnosed condition that does require it. I wouldn't recommend that everybody take supplements. Most people can get optimal nutrition by eating a healthy, well-balanced diet. Nutrition is very important to uh, maternal and child health. What happens in utero does affect the health of the newborn child. So it's very important that during a pregnancy, a woman gets all of her nutrients, especially calcium and omega-3 fatty acids, and make sure that she's keeping up her caloric intake without having too many calories and gaining too much weight at the same time. During infancy and during childhood, what a child eats and how their relationship with foods develop during that time sets them up basically for the rest of their lives. Obesity, in most cases, is a direct result of lifestyle choices, meaning people are more sedentary than we used to be. People eat a lot more fast foods, a lot of foods in refined carbohydrates, a lot of sugars, a lot of added fats. There are some people that may have an underlying condition or endocrine issue that may be contributing to obesity, but generally for most people it is a lifestyle and nutrition influenced condition. Here at Health City, we have a great cafeteria run by Blue Cilantro that provides our patients with well-balanced meals. I review all the menus and the meals that patients are provided to make sure that any disease state they have is being addressed in the meals that they receive. Food does not have to be organic to be nutritious. That's a misconception. If you look at the nutrition, or rather the grocery aisles at supermarkets these days, you will see that everything can be in the organic form. A cookie that is organic is still a cookie. That does not mean that it's healthy. You're still getting sugar and you're still getting fat. Caribbean fare can be very nutritious. It's a diet high in fish, rice and beans. Beans are especially nutritious and high in fiber. And we have a lot of great vegetables here like callaloo. The problem is usually the portion sizes, how we prepare the food, for instance, frying our fish, and that we usually have three or four starches on our plate at the same time. Breadfruit, cassava, and potatoes are all good foods, but if we are eating three or four of them at the same time and not having room on our plate for vegetables, then that's where we run into problems. Health City is involved in the area of nutrition. I am a registered dietitian here at Health City, and I'm involved in pretty much every single case that comes through the door. So I review all the inpatients that are here and make sure that they have optimal diets for their particular conditions. We also do outreach in the community, for instance, attending things like the heart fair that's happening this weekend.